Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to cover all the details of how you can evolve all the brand new Hisuian Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So to make this video a little bit more digestible, it is all split down below by individual Pokemon, but I'm also going to group these Pokemon into different categories to kind of break it down. They're going to be Pokemon that evolve with items, Pokemon that evolve through different criteria, conditions, and then just through regular level up. So we'll kick off with Pokemon that evolve through items, how you can get these items and what items you need. First up, we're going to look at Hisuian Growlithe and Hisuian Arcanine to evolve a Growlithe into the Hisuian Arcanine, all you're going to need is a Firestone. Firestones can be obtained by smashing the crystal-like objects around the different Hisuian regions. Firestones can also be picked up at the trading stall in Jubilife Village. You can visit there and if you have enough merit points, you're going to be able to buy this item. But to evolve Growlithe into Hisuian Arcanine, all you're going to need is that Firestone. Next up, we're looking at Lilligant. And Lilligant is another new Hisuian variant that we've got access to in Pokemon. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Again, it is going to require an item to evolve. At this time, it is only going to require the Sunstone. Again, this is another item that you can pick up at the trading stall in Jubilee Village, but you can also find it out and about around the Hisui region by using Ursulana to do the item hunting or finding it in the crystal objects as you smash them around the region or also in the distortion fields when they pop up in different areas. Hisuian Sneasel and Hisuian Weavile are up next. They're another combination that need an item to evolve and this item is going to be a razor claw you're going to use the razor claw on Hisuian Sneasel but you've got to use it during the daytime to evolve it to get the razor claw you can pick this up in a variety of different means again it is available in the trader stall in Jubilee Village but you can also find it wild Hisuian Sneasels in the Alabaster Icelands do drop this item as well you can also find this in the distortion fields it's another rare pickup when they do appear Hisuian Voltor and Hisuian Electrode are up next and to evolve the Hisuian Voltorb into Hisuian Electrode you're going to need a Leaf Stone. Again it's another item that you can buy from the trade station in Jubilee Village you can find in the distortion fields or just pick up from smashing the crystals or rocks around the Hisuian region. Next up we're going to look at Scyther and how it evolves into its new Hisuian form Cleaver. To evolve Scyther into Cleaver you're going to need an item called a Black Augurite. Unfortunately, this is not an item that you can buy or purchase at the trader station in Jubilee Village. You're going to have to go out and find this item. And the best way to do this, the way that I found a bunch of these, is by using Ursulana and using the item search function there. And the best place that I've kind of had success finding it is actually around the area, the Grand Tree area in Obsidian Fields, where Scyther kind of populates that area of the region. Once you have this item, you just need to give it to a Scyther and that will evolve it into Cleaver. Ursaring up next and to evolve Ursaring into Ursulana you're going to need the item Peat Block. Again it's not an item that you can purchase. It is an item that you're going to have to go out and find. If you go to the Crimson Mirrorlands you will be able to use the Ursulana search function again around that area and have success finding a Peat Block. Also in the Distortion Fields you can find Peat Blocks. I picked these up in the Distortion Fields before but these seem to be the only two methods to get the Peat Block. Once you have obtained that item, then you need to, to wait till it is a full moon and then you'll be able to give it to Ursa Ring to evolve it into Ursulana. To find out how it is a full moon, it is very difficult. Sometimes you're going to see the moon at night time um, in the region, but sometimes it's overcast, it's cloudy, you're not going to see a moon at all. So how do you know? The way that I did it was just changing the time in the camp to night time uh, and then trying to see if the item would work with Ursa Ring. If it did, then you know there's a full moon there you don't necessarily need to look it's just a quick way around it just keep skipping to the night time every time try the item and it should end up working and you're going to be able to evolve Ursa Ring into Ursulana. Next up we've got conditions and criteria for evolving certain Pokemon. I'm going to start off with the Gudra line. So Gumi evolves into Sligu at level 40 so there's no changes there but to evolve Sligu into Gudra you're going to have to level up your Sligu to level 50 and then 
then go to a part of the region where it is raining. If you go to an area where it's raining, then you're going to have the option to evolve Sligu into that Gudra. Now to do this again, you're going to just take advantage of changing the time of day in your camp. You want to be able to just change it over and over again until it's raining in a certain area. And then you'll have the option pop up to evolve your Sligu into Gudra. Next up, we're looking at how to evolve Stantler into Weirdia. So to evolve Stantler, you're going to have to use its signature attack, Psy Shield Bash, and you're going to have to use it in agile style form of attack 20 times in battle. So not strong style, agile style, and you've got to use that move 20 times in total on that Pokemon 20 times using the Psy Shield Bash. And then when you have done that, the option to evolve it into Weirdia will appear. Next up, we've got Basculin and evolving it into Basculesian. This one is another tricky one. What you're going to have to do in, it depends on the male or female variant of this Pokemon. If you are a male variant Basculin and to evolve it, what you're going to have to use is its signature attack, strong style, wave crash, and you have to take a combination of 300 recoil damage in HP. If it's the female variation, you're going to do the same method, take that 300 HP recoil damage from Wave Crash signature move, but you're having to use the agile style rather than the strong style. So if it's a male, use the strong style. If it's female, use the agile style. You just need a combination of 300 HP recoil taken in total, and then you'll have the option to evolve it into Basque Legion. To evolve Quillfish into Overquill, again, you're gonna have to use a certain move. This time it's signature attack, which is Barb Barrage. You're gonna have to use the strong style attack with Barb Barrage 20 times. Once you've done that with this Pokemon, you'll have the option to evolve Quillfish into Overquill. Now let's cover the remaining Hisuian Pokemon that you're going to have to evolve. To evolve Azora into Hisuian Zorak, you're going to have to just do what you did before. Nothing changes, it does evolve at level 30. So as soon as you get Zora to level 30, you're going to have the option to evolve it into Hisuian Zora. To get Hisuian Braviary, you're going to have to get a Rufflet up to level 54, just like you had with its regular form. And then at that stage, you're going to be able to evolve it into Hisuian Braviary. Bergmite is another one just a regular standard level up and nothing really changes there. When Bergmite hits level 37, it will then have the ability to evolve into Hisuian Avalog. And the starter Pokemon will all evolve by their normal means of level up as well. You're going to have Decidueye will be able to evolve at level 34. You're going to be able to evolve Typhlosion's final Evo 36 and the same goes for Samurai. So they all evolve as they do normally. So this kind of wraps up all of the brand new mechanics and ways to evolve these new Hisuian Pokemon that we've got available to us in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I hope this guide's been useful. Remember that most of the items, if you are requiring them for evolutions, can be found by using certain tools in the game like the Usalana item searching. Uh, you can just search around different regions. You'll be able to find these rare items. Distortion fields are a big one to go to. Anytime they do pop up in a region, visit them. You'll pick up a bunch of these really useful evolution items and stones that you can use throughout your game and your playthrough. And the other option is taking advantage of the trader shop. The only issue with that in Jubilee Village is that the items do cost a lot of merit points and merit points aren't too hard to get but you're only going to be able to get so many items and there are some items available in the shop that are probably worth buying more than the other ones which can just be found out and about around the Hisui region when you're exploring. So friends, hope you found this guide useful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lot of fun with your playthrough and evolving your new Hussein Pokemon when you get a hold of them. I hope the guide has been useful. And uh, until next time, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.